Good afternoon to Linkfield TV, conjunction with the Bowen TV. Uh, this afternoon we're joined by Bob and uh, Dixie. Just uh, one more game to the end of the season. And a big, big effort in today against Southwick. We battled for 90 minutes, never really gave up. Okay, gave up. We come out victorious. So just thinking back on the season that's sort of behind us, just talk about some of the highlights that you've both seen throughout that season from games, from players. What is it that's really spurred us to be undefeated at home, have a great record away, and you know, turning some big sides over? What were the highlights for you for that? And how was that? How have we got from where we were to where we are today? You go first. Just the players. We eventually got all the players together. We was a bit of a mix and a match at the beginning of the season. We had a few lot, few players. Graves he didn't play the first month. Uh, a few boys were going on these festivals in the summer, and we had a bad start. But if you consider that we had a bad start, and we're promoted with five games left, that's not bad. That's that's a good uh, thing. I mean, for me, we're by far and away the best side in the league. Yeah. We, we proved it. We beat the top of the league eight one on aggregate. So uh, we just just a good side. Just, I just think it all came together. We couldn't score early doors, could we, Bob? No. We, and every chance someone had against us, they scored. Yeah. I mean, we went back to the Wick game. I think it was all the Wick game when it changed, actually, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. We, we should have beat them 2-1. Uh, no, we should have, yeah, 1-2-1. One, disallowed goal, there was nothing wrong with it. They got a handball at the end. and We lost 2-1 and it uh, changed. We brought Dan Summers in. Dan livened up, come here very good, livened everyone up, livened all the forwards up. Yeah. And then eventually dropped away himself after he livened all them up. But I think that was probably the turning point. Yeah, and they, they we play a different system than probably most of them have ever played. So it's, it does take time anyway. Uh, and having them all together just really improves them mm -hmm. in that system. And that's what's happened. Now they understand it, it's easier for them. I mean, most of them understand it. I wouldn't say all of them, but most of them understand exactly how we've got to play yeah. uh, with the players that we got. So there's different ways of playing, but with the players that we've got, and that's how we want to play anyway. So that's why we picked the players yeah. that we did. Looking back on the season, we were very easy to concede goals. First five minutes, each half, always conceding goals after our scoring. What's changed? Because we haven't done that of late. We kill games off, we score lots of goals. What's changed from conceding that early goal after the first five minutes or straight after a goal? More, more the consistency of the team. The more consistent the squad is, the more consistent the team is that you're playing, the easier it is and the more understanding they've got. That's, that's all that's happened there. Yeah. I mean, we haven't really done anything different all season. We just uh, conceded. We're not really set up to play that way anyway. Mm -hmm. So, um, aerially, we will struggle against sides because we, we pick a lot of footballers rather than people that are just going out of the ball. Yeah. And, and also, what we have done last 10, 12 games, as Bob's made them work off the ball. Yeah. Work off the ball. But in them games, we, when we conceded them goals, never were we worried. No. We? We were, there was always against the run of play and but we was never worried that we weren't going to have enough chances. We, as a team, create chances. If, you was, if I was a centre forward, I'd want to play with this team because you're going to get loads and loads of chances, you yeah. know what I mean? And that, that, all right, sometimes when you play the way we play, you can see goals, but you score a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of it is about belief, believing that you, you can play that way and still win games. Yeah. Whereas if you do concede a goal, most people would just rip the rip the uh, the book up and say, "I'll tell you what, we're just going to smash it down the other end." Pretty much like most teams do anyway. Yeah. Well, we try not to do that. So we finished top three, almost undefeated at home. The one game to go, um, and obviously you guys are looking forward to next season. How do you prepare yourself and the team to get ahead for next season? Because it's always about being ahead of your opponents. How, how do you how do you sort of focus yourself, the team, and plan for that? Be a little bit to do with personnel, yeah. Because obviously, as a as a squad, I mean, we're, we're probably at the moment we will probably be a mid-table side yeah. in in the division above. But we definitely need some uh, some acquisitions, yeah, for next year. But 
that's the prep really yeah and then a the hard work i mean we'll be training twice a week next year because without it you, you ain't gonna be fit enough to play yeah. in the league above and then maybe go through that again so that's yeah. what we're going to try and do things are going to be a lot more professional next year with uh coming this season a little bit well i should never be but we, with regards to squad and getting players from reserves and things like that it's all been a bit Maybe brighter than no. I'm going to insist on uh, reserve team players. If they play with the reserve team, they've got to be up, up, available for the first yeah. team. And uh, I've got to, I'm going to have to uh, stamp my forehead on that. <laughs> and uh, that'll be something that we'll do. But when you sign for this club, we'll probably do something where you have to sign to, to say that you make yourself available. If you're available with the reserves, you're making yourself available for the team. Yeah. And if you don't, then Goodbye. Yeah. You know I mean? And you know, it, it is a team game without a shadow of doubt, but has there any been has there been any individual performances you've looked at and on the highlights you thought, you know what? Yeah, that was outstanding. One player, two players, three players. Oh, there's a few. There is there is a few. And to be honest, there's a few players in our team that get a seven or an eight in every game. Yeah. And they're the ones that go under the radar, so you'll get you'll get the, the ones that are so consistent, which we've got which you need, and then we get this the standouts, your 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 match winners, yeah. as you are, and they they they're on show to everyone that they can go and win you a game, <laughs> but they forget about the one that's stopped the other team yeah. winning the game. So, yeah, I mean, you could go from Richie in the first half, and forget the first month with Richie, but then for three months, four months, two, he got his it was there was, un, there was only one player going to get player of the year. Yeah. Got the stupid sending off. Yeah. Then then Bello come into his own. Sammy's been a mastermind all the way through. Eats when he come back in. Yeah. Back it when he come in. Yeah. I mean Wolf said uh, to, be, to be honest, OG, to be to be fair, a uh, Gravesy, yeah. Captain Marvel, I mean I mean you could go around that team really, there ain't no one. Even Jake had a yeah. good season. I mean you couldn't really there's no one you could say that Ollie's had a good season. It's hard to sit in a goal when you don't do nothing all day and then make a save. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, and to be honest with you, if there weren't anyone that wasn't good enough that we could say that about, they wouldn't be in the side. No, exactly. Right. We, uh, and we have we've got a squad of players. So all the players, that the fringe players, have been, Corbin's been away for a little while, come back in, worked his nuts off, deserved his goal today. Yeah. And that's, that's the attitude that we need to progress because if without that attitude we ain't going to go no further Simple. so before before you head off to your presentation this evening is there any last words from you two guys for the guys out there that watch week in week out yeah thanks for your support i told you a few years a few months back come and watch the lingers always get entertained i think our average goal goals at home is five so come down here spend your five quid pound a goal isn't it? yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But thank you all. Sorry, Bob. Yeah, the same as Dick's really. Um, it's hard work in non-league, getting motivated to come and watch games, and uh, we know that. But obviously, you're, without support, clubs don't survive, and, that's, and we're in the same boat. So exactly that. We, we, I said to you we're going to get promotion this year, didn't I? Next year, top six in the Premier, Sussex Premier. You watch the Linfield go up the limit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, boys. Thanks, mate. Cheers, guys.